Hi guys, I'm Young. Today I want to talk about this particular video of DJI that people absolutely hated. It's the DJI drone to phone broadcast remote ID video. It was actually an idea that DJI came up with to propose to FAA that was keep on suggesting something that was making it really hard for drone community to thrive. So that proposal requires all drones to be networked to a remote ID service managed by private supplier companies that we expect to charge mandatory subscription fee. They would hold the drone flight information for at least six months. This whole proposal by FAA would increase a lot of cost, not only the companies that actually use drones, but also the drone production companies as well, such as DJI. So in whole, it sort of gives a very dampening effect to the drone industry. So DJI being a drone pioneer, they have come up with some idea that would be less costly to everyone. So they suggested this broadcast remote ID, which was absolutely hated by the community. Me being just a drone enthusiast, and I'm sure the heavier repercussion is on all the drone related corporates such as you know those industrial uses, even life-saving missions and also movie productions. They would face a lot more problems I'm sure and I know they already use drones sensibly. They always have insurances and they always have permits from the authorities. What more do they want from drone users? So what DJI is now proposing is broadcasting the location of the drone pilot to the general public, you know, by using the app. Drone to phone remote ID is a way for anyone to remotely identify a drone in real time on a smartphone. And their video was really rather funny. But many people aren't used to drones. So when they see one, they ask, what is that? What's it doing? Why is it there? From my experience, I've never had such experience. Most people are familiar with the drone. They know people are mostly, you know, filming like touristy places and so on. And if they see the drone, they can quite easily locate where the drone pilot is. Why would any drone pilot want when their location to be exposed and they don't know the location of people who are sort of trying to identify my own drone? So there is a huge mismatch of information. You know, it makes it quite dangerous for drone pilots to actually enjoy our hobby. If they're so worried that this, you know, tiny drone can be a threat to them, you know, they can perhaps physically, you know, limit the device capability. So it's quite a shame that authorities are seeing drones as a threat. You know, that will sort of put those countries that are putting a lot of restrictions quite behind in this like game of future game of drones. So it seems like FAA wants to take in some comments from the drone users by 2nd of March. So I'll have all the information down below. So if anyone wants to sort of give comments and so on, they can do so directly to FAA. Otherwise, you can sort of use my channel as a little forum. And also, if you guys know a bit more detail about it that I haven't explained, then please feel free to do so down below and share your thoughts. So meanwhile, I'll just use this drone as much as possible and provide you guys with some beautiful images and tips. So, see you!